Greetings Team LCPS, this is your proud superintendent Doug Straley coming at you today with our latest superintendent's update. I hope you've had a great day thus far as we continue to move through the 21-22 school year. It's been a unique year and yet here we are working together and continuing to provide an awesome educational experience for our students. We appreciate your support in making all of this possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're reaching out to you today to share an important update with you concerning recent revisions in the Virginia Department of Health guidelines for contact tracing and how this will look as we move forward here at LCPS. As we discuss this update, please be sure to watch this entire video. As you may have seen, the Virginia Department of Health and the Blue Ridge Health District have both stopped community level contact tracing. The VDH has also recently announced a recommended modification to contact tracing in schools that would no longer expect or require contact tracing on each individual case of COVID-19 in schools. Instead, the VDH is now recommending schools to partner with local health departments when there are outbreaks and sustained transmission within schools to properly contact trace epidemiologically linked cases, which are cases that are linked to a common source of transmission, such as a classroom or bus. Over the past few weeks, we have been working with the Blue Ridge Health District to formulate an updated plan regarding contact tracing as we move forward. Today, thanks to a lot of in-depth conversations and a thorough review of our procedures, we want to share with you our new plan. Starting on Tuesday, February 22nd, we will begin the following new process for contact tracing. First, per the VDH guidelines, we will no longer contact trace each individual COVID-19 case in our schools. However, if an outbreak should occur, the Blue Ridge Health District will conduct an investigation to determine if the cases are linked through in-school transmission. The Blue Ridge Health District will determine the most likely exposure for each case, and if the cases are epidemiologically linked through an exposure at school, contact tracing will occur. For reference, an outbreak is considered when you have three or more cases in a classroom, on a bus, or a team within a 14-day period of time. In the event of an outbreak, those identified as close contacts in the case may use our test to stay program as an alternative to traditional at-home quarantine for asymptomatic close contacts. For students who test positive for COVID-19, we will continue to ask them to isolate for the required period of time, which is currently 10 days. Our staff will also continue to isolate for the same period if they test positive as well. It's important for us to note that in its latest guidance, the VDH says the Omicron variant is much different than previous versions of COVID-19. It's a different strain that requires a different approach and an approach that doesn't involve contact tracing every case. And as we take this step together, I want to emphasize that we will continue to be vigilant with our health and safety procedures, which again are a major point of emphasis by the VDH. At LCPS, we will continue to take the temperatures of all of our students and staff as they enter our buildings. We will frequently clean our school buildings and our buses. We will require masks on all LCPS transportation as part of the federal order currently in place and will continue to use the latest state-of-the-art ventilation systems which include MERV 13 filters and bipolar ionization units. We'll also continue to post updates of each case on our COVID-19 dashboards each school day. We are going to transition away from our daily email updates, but again, daily updates will be made to our school dashboards each day. You can find your school's dashboard on your school's website underneath the initials of each school. We also ask that all of our families continue to practice our healthy habits at home as well, which includes performing a health screening each morning and staying home if you have any symptoms whatsoever. If there's one thing we've learned over the past 23 months, it's that it takes all of us looking out for each other to keep our community as healthy as possible. We're also going to continue our commitment to answering your questions. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, send them to us via our community questions form, which we've included in a link below this video. Send your questions in and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's our update for today and once again, we're thankful to the Blue Ridge Health District for their support of our plan and we're also thankful for the opportunity this new approach provides our educators and our families. Since the onset of COVID-19 and this pandemic, nearly 23 months ago, 
We've been committed to the health and safety of our staff, our students, and our community. We have collaborated closely with our local and state public officials and have done everything reasonably possible to keep you informed. I can promise you that those commitments and collaboration remain a priority. And finally, I want to thank all of you out there for your continued support, your patience and kindness as we've navigated through this school year. We're all in this together and we're all committed to one goal, which is to support our students and staff, all in an effort to make sure that we provide a world-class educational experience right here in Louisa County, Virginia. We've done that so far and I know we'll continue to lead the way. Again, thank you so much for your support. Have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend. And we are Team LCPS.